Alright everybody, this is our tutorial on how to uh, properly line a diamond. This will be the same for all of the diamonds that we're going to use this year. Elmvale, uh, Hillsdale, and the, uh, and the Elmvale Arena. Same for Phelpson as well. First of all, we got to uh, make sure that we have all of the things that we're going to need to line the diamond. First we got our bases, set of bases. We'll need <coughs> two single bases. And a, uh, and a safety base. Safety base is a double bag, one with an orange and white. Okay, we got a pitcher's plate that we'll put for the pitchers. And we'll need a hammer, uh, a screwdriver or something of those lines, a, a tape measure, and uh, finally a lining device. All this stuff will be in the shack here and in, uh, and in Elmville. And so let's just get to it. First thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, we're going to want to set out our bases in the general area of where they're going to be. So Morgan will do that. And uh, make sure they're not on the baseline because you're gonna, you're gonna chalk the baseline by um, first and then put the bases in, so. Alright, first step to measuring. We place this at the back corner of the plate on the pentagon. Very hard ground, apparently. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have your helper. It just shut off. Take it out. And you're going to, it's always better with two people, it's a lot easier. We're going to, uh, Caitlin, come here. So this needs to run up the, basically the side of the plate and we should have it in line with the uh, foul pole. So if he's, if he's out, then you get him to move it over and you want the line to be straight. It's gotta be straight. Okay. So once it's set down straight, all we're going to do is we're going to take our lining device, start it out from the plate somewhat. All right, we have no chalk here, so I'm just going to replicate it. You open it up down here, and then you just line it up. And you just kind of go all the way down, and you'll... Um, you'll get better at this as uh, the season goes on, but we're trying to make a straight line. We'll go all the way down to the bottom, or to the end, right to the grass. In Elmville, you just go onto the grass a little bit. And uh, once you've done the line, you're going to make a mark at your base length. So for, uh, for our purposes today, that's going to be 60 feet. We're going to make a mark right here at 60 feet. Okay. Your helper will then run over to third. We'll do the exact same thing there. A little tight. Way like three feet. No, that, that little bit. Okay, good. Once again, you line it up. You would uh, chalk this line as well. I'm not going to go through that purpose. Okay. Again, we mark out 60 feet, whatever our base length is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set our bases in. Press pause. How? So once you've got your, uh, your uh, X marked out here, 
It'll be a chalk line with a, with a line through it that you drew at 60 feet. The base itself, you want to make sure that the back of the base is at the line and the side of the base is on the uh, chalk line. So everything, so the base is fully in fair territory. All right. So we're going to hammer it in. All of them should have two. We won't hammer both sides in for our purposes today, but you would hammer in this side as well to secure the base. But the back of the base on the corner. Same thing over at first. With the double base. In this case, we want the back of the white base, which is the uh, fair territory base. We want the back of the fair base at the back of the line or at the 60 foot mark and the middle of the base on the, uh, uh, on the chalk line. So again, all of the white base is in fair territory. The orange portion is foul territory. So if the ball hits the orange, it's foul. If it hits the white, it's fair, okay? Now we're going to line up second base. In order to do that, Morgan will grab the uh, tape measure. He'll reel out to 60 feet and put it at the back of the base there. 60 feet at the back there. Where am I going? You can show him where that's 60 feet. I know where 60 feet is, I'm not that down. Do I put it at the foul territory? You put it at the back of the base in the middle. Right? Oh. No, no. Back of the base. In the middle. Yeah. Do you want to come here? So your partner has 60 feet at the uh, middle of the base at the back. And here, all we're going to do is we're just going to draw kind of a semicircle a little bit because we're going to intersect. Your partner will run over to a third base, do the exact same thing there. Yeah, back of the base at, at the edge of the white. All right, so you can see the intersection of the line should be where second base goes. Now, interestingly enough, when we set second base, we don't set it so that it's a true baseline. It's a little bit offset, so only a quarter of the base is in, um, was in within the baseline. So that's how we would do that. The middle of the base in the intersection of the... Uh... Then your partner will take the um, right to home plate. So he's going to, so we're just going to measure it just to make sure that uh, things are approximately right. And Pythagorean's theorem says that this should be about 85 feet, which as you can see, 85 feet, 10 inches, which is right for a 60 foot base. So we got that. Next, or lastly, or second lastly, we're going to measure pitcher's mound or pitcher's plate. Again, it's at the back of the plate. When we're measuring these things, we always start from the back of the plate. For our purposes today, we're going to measure out 46 feet, which is men's, but for our purposes, good enough for today. So 46 feet, we'll make a mark here. And then we'll grab our pitcher's plate.
So when you're setting the uh, pitcher's plate, unlike the bases where you set the, uh, you set the uh, base at the back of the line, the front of the plate is, the, is where the line goes here, or where the front of the plate goes on the line. You probably want to dig out a little bit to set it down in uh, nice and level. Now, in order to get it square, before you hammer it in, in order to get it square, what you do is you have your partner come with. You have your partner hold the uh, hold the tape measure at the uh, front left corner of the base. So just hold that there, Morgan. Okay, and we'll measure. Come with me, Tina. I am. Okay, so we measure it to the front of the plate. And that's 40, uh, 44 feet, three inches. Then he'll move it to the other side. And again, you'll see here that I don't have it square. This is where three inches is. So I need to, the line basically goes like that. And that should be square. And then it's just a visual thing in terms of, of in the middle. You can run something to second base, but I usually just do it visually. Once you're comfortable that this is square, it's just a matter of hammering it in. Usually a couple spikes which we will put in and we won't do it for this purposes. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to do an eight foot circle for our purposes. You say for our purposes a lot. Sorry. <laughs> you want to set the ground? <laughs> so just an eight foot circle just kind of hold it and you just draw the little circle. After the circle's done, your partner will grab the uh, chocker. The chocker. And he will go around the circle with the chalk and then you are done. <laughs>